Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the a PK3DS randomizer tutorial. Uh, PK3DS is a software used to randomize Pokemon 3DS games, quite, uh, quite like the Pokemon randomizer that is pretty commonplace for Game Boy games up through DS games. Uh, but this is, that, that one unfortunately does not currently work with 3DS games, so PK3DS is one of your best options. So this is just a little bit of a tutorial on how to download, use um, this if you're wanting to randomize or adjust some of the, the stuff in your Pokemon 3DS games. So let's get started. So one of the first things you want to do is actually download PK3DS. So let's just start off here with Googling PK3DS. Uh, you're going to look, go for this projectpokemon.org link. Uh, I will try to put all uh, links in the description um, so that you can just click, have nice easy clicks to these different things. But uh, you're going to want to click here. Uh, you're going to scroll down to where you says click the download the latest version here. It does kind of go through some of the process here, but it can be a little bit difficult, so I thought I'd just do a visual example. So you're going to click on the latest run, the latest pipeline run, once you've clicked on that link. Uh, so I'm going to click on this November 4th, 2021. Uh, and then this is the part that's a little bit confusing, but you're actually going to click here, this two published, one consumed portion. Once you've done that, you're going to click on PK3DS. Actually, you're not going to click, but you're going to click these three little dots, and you're going to download artifacts. And that's going to give you a PK3DS.zip. Uh, you're going to have to put that into uh, a file here. So as you see here, I have PK3DS.zip. I'll extract it. Uh, I've already extracted it, but you'll just extract it. You'll need some sort of WinZip or JZip or WinRAR or something like that to unzip this file. So once you've done that, uh, as you can see here, I've put my PK3DS here. So this is kind of what it should look like uh, once you've unzipped it. And you'll have this PK3DS.exe. So you're going to go ahead and open that. Uh, it won't look like this initially uh, because let's just, let's just say I, I do my desktop here. You'll see it'll be grayed out like this. And this means that you do not currently have a compatible file. Uh, so the first stop, step to do this is to, well, download a, uh, a, a ROM for a th uh, 3DS game, a 3DS Pokemon game. Um, that is up to you to figure out how to do that. I will not be discussing that today. Um, but do make sure that you get the .3DS file. So there's .cdi, dot, there's all sorts of different file extensions for 3DS games. Make sure you get the .3DS version. So the first thing you're going to want to be able to do is actually going to want to extract uh, the .3DS file. So there are some other ways uh, I haven't messed with personally of how to uh, extract. You could potentially use a .cxi. Uh, you can definitely do some rebuilds here. We'll get to that a little bit later, but right today we're just going to go over the th .3DS file. So it'll, it'll give you this little warning here, and then you want to click on your 3DS file. So for example, uh, you would just go in through your thing, uh, go somewhere, uh, find your ROM and click on it. Uh, and then you just click open. So that'll start the process. Um, as it goes through this thing, this bar will fill up multiple times. Uh, and eventually a little pop-up will say extraction complete. So that's where we will be once it's, once it's completed. So it's nothing too crazy. Just says extraction complete. Uh, and this process will take several minutes. So uh, this little green, this little bar here will feel green. It'll keep going multiple times. Um, so just give it some time, let it go through, and let it extract. So once you've done that, uh, you're going to want to actually go to the place where your file is located. So in this case, we're gonna, I'm going to go to my Pokemon folder, Pokemon 3DS, uh, ROMs. Okay, and once you do that, uh, you'll actually see here that it'll it'll light up. And you'll be actually, actually be able to click on a lot of the stuff now. So this ends up being kind of the way to do it. And here we are now. We can actually get to editing the ROM. So you can choose things like game text. I haven't really messed with this, but there are a lot of game text files. But it looks like you can slowly over time start changing all these, uh, these words here. So, oh, you're requesting a single battle, double battle. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff you can go through here. A lot of the generic things. Um, I'm not even sure what half of these are, why there's all these numbers, all these different things, but you can essentially go through and change all the text inside the game. Um, different items, different names. There's all sorts of stuff here. So, uh, and you can add lines. You can randomize the lines if you want to. I don't really know what the point of that would be, but uh, you can import a text file, export a text file, stuff like that. Uh, same for story text here. 
same thing here. So if you were wanting to translate the game or to add in your own words for some reason to redo the story, you could do it that way. But it's, I would recommend some other stuff here. Uh, there's personal stats. Uh, so you could just change how a Pokemon behaves, what are its base stats, its EV yields, what items can it hold, what's its type. Uh, this is like, there's a lot of really good stuff here to be able to go deep into uh, modding the game or changing the game. Same for evolutions. You can actually change the way evolutions are done. All these different ones here. Um, dark type and pottery, overworld rain, level up and electric, level with female, uh, trade. You can also choose the uh, the level. Um, what they would do to, what do they evolve into. There's all sorts of great stuff here. There's some good randomizer options. You can randomize the stuff there. Really good for that. Same for level up moves. You can randomize. You can, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what metronome mode is, but I think we can make a little bit of a guess there. Uh, and you can go by each one uh, or just randomize them all. All OHMs, bias by type. There's all sorts of really good options here. Same for wild encounters. Uh, this one actually will pull up a little thing, so we'll get to that in a second as it's pulling it up. Yeah, don't worry if it says not responding. This takes a little bit of time. As you can see here, we have all these different things. Uh, you know, go route by route. What are the percentages? All these things. As you can tell, this one's already randomized. That's why it looks so weird. Uh, but you just want to go and click randomize all if you say you're wanting to randomize something. So now my stuff is randomized. Uh, so now every single route in the game is randomized. Uh, but you can do all sorts of stuff. You can have tables. There's, there's all sorts of great things here. So... Uh, we can do Mega Evolutions. That's another thing. If you're you're playing a game with Mega Evolutions, uh, you can do the item, what's the form, etc., etc. This is another good thing, especially if you're wanting to like make edits to the game overall. Same for egg moves. Uh, you can change the trainers here. Um, so it looks like you can you know do a specific trainer. What's their team? Change their team. You can randomize all trainer moves. Uh, stats, moves, all sorts of things. There's really good, uh, lots of good uh, amounts of uh, randomization here. Same for, uh, you can do some item editing, especially if you're trying to make new items, stuff like that. So this is really good for modding along with randomization. Same for move editor, you can randomize. Uh, I'm not going to mess with the Battle Royal Tree. Pick up items, again, can randomize. Not exactly sure what OWSE is, overworld script editor. So this looks like something that is uh, more for if you're trying to mess with stuff and try to mod the game. Uh, static Encounter is another good thing here where you can randomize, including starters. So uh, you can have you have some different options here on how to randomize the starters. Basic starter with two evolutions if you just want a truly random one. Um, all sorts of really good stuff here. So uh, you can also go through here and uh, randomize the TMs, randomize the type chart. Which would be, I don't think you can randomize, but you can change the top chart, type chart here uh, by just clicking on it here. So super effective, no effect, not very effective. Does regular damage and back to super effective. Uh, you can chase the shiny rate here. So I've, you can see I've already kind of messed with it here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the reroll helper is, um, but you know, try to work on here. You can try to adjust the, adjust this rate here to to like what percentage you want. Um, you know, if you do like a thousand there. Uh, or you can do this like what I have here, which is just everything shiny. But after all that's said and done, once you've done all the things that you're wanting to do, uh, then you're going to want to rebuild. So you're going to rebuild it as a .3ds file. So uh, you're going to want to rename it to just um, test ROM2. Uh, we'll do that here, and we'll just save it. And we'll do that. And it's kind of the same kind of process here where you're going to want to wait for it to actually uh, rebuild. And this will take a few minutes. So I will catch you guys back when this is done. Alrighty, so as you can see here, when it's done, the green the green bar will kind of just move to the end. Uh, it's not quite like the extract where it actually has a uh, little pop-up. That would be nice, but maybe that's coming in the future. So as you can see here, uh, I now have my test ROM 2. So let's go ahead and boot up Citra. Let's just go ahead and open up the order file here. We we'll go ahead and upload this test ROM here. So we'll go ahead and open it up. We'll go ahead and launch it. And it'll take me a moment to get to the part where we can actually see it be doing something. So give me a moment here, and I will catch us back then. We're going to do a real quick transition here, and we are going to get to an actual battle. So you can see that the Pokemon are shiny. So as you can see here, uh, it took a minute for me to realize it, but I do have a shiny Cosmog. Uh, that's because I set everything to shiny. 
that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, I've tried to take a look at some of the comments you guys had previously. Uh, I know there's some there are some issues here. But overall, uh, thanks guys for watching. I uh, appreciate it.